So with that, I want to talk about deep fake Drake. And I don't know how many of you uh, had a chance to, to see this, but uh, give me a sec while I get this set up. Um, deep fake Drake uh, was a massive phenomenon uh, earlier this month and a perfect uh, example uh, of, of some of the possibilities and some of the, the scary uh, realities of, of AI when it comes to audio and video. So let me make sure. So this is Drake's newest song. Um, I'm not sure how many of you have heard it, but it's pretty good. from my radio days. So this song, I think it was released like on a Friday. And by the end of the weekend, it had 600,000 streams on Spotify, let alone Apple Music, Amazon Music. And it was gonna be on the Billboard Top 100 on Monday. And the fucking music, excuse my language, the music industry went nuts. They they blew a gasket and they took it down. Uh, and the way they took it down is super interesting. It wasn't because of the AI voice, because the copyright on that is super murky. It was because the person who created this sampled some copyrighted music. And so they basically were able to find like a little fine print that got Apple and Spotify and, and, and Amazon Music to take it down. It's still available on YouTube. Uh, but it is not uh, available on the major platforms and it's not eligible uh, to be a Billboard top song. And this is um, like a beautiful example of really good art, really good art. And um, it also really annoyed Drake. Uh, Drake had actually already been part of a um, deep fake with someone uh, named Munch. Um, and so he had already written, uh, this is the final straw AI. Um, Universal Music Group uh, in its conniption said the following, which side of history all stakeholders in the music e ecosystem want to be on? There's the side of artists, fans, and human creative expression, or on the side of deep fakes, fraud, and denying artists their due compensation. And I think this is a beautiful framing of where we are right now in AI for audio and video. So on one hand, you have a situation where beautiful, original, creative music is being created. The person who created the song, you might wonder who it is, his name was Ghostwriter. And for those of you who know something about the music industry, ghostwriter is a term of art to mean a professional music producer who's behind a lot of the top artists. So the belief is that ghostwriter um, created this, uh, that ghostwriter was a um, professional music producer who's probably worked with some top artists and was able to leverage some of the tools that we're gonna talk about but combine it with incredible music production chops to create a really beautiful piece of music. And that's why it was so popular. And that's why it's so good. This wasn't just simply any uh, anonymous person. This was a professional producing it. So, so there, there is artistry in this and, you know, to get to, to bend AI to create something as beautiful as this is not simple at all, as you're going to learn today. So there was a lot of talent and skill involved in this. And that's, 
you know, uh, AI design Jedi Anthony Fills is an example of the level of skill that's really required to use these tools to such effect. Um, and in many ways, what are we doing here today is we're all trying to help you guys become ghostwriters. We want to help give you the tools that you need in order to be able to leverage uh, this kind of stuff for your businesses and, and to make it more effective than uh, just if you kind of freelance and try to do it on your own. So our goal today is to create some uh, great um talented ghost writers out of all of you. Um, I launched, by the way, the other poll. So please let us know how much you're using AI so that we can report back to you next week. <laughs> 